Hi, drama nerds, today's episode is about a movie called, The Family Plan. A former top assassin, living incognito as a suburban dad must take his unsuspecting family on the run when his past catches up to him. At the beginning of the story, we see a man named Dan, who is a car dealer, and since he has decided to be a good person, he always drives slowly and greets his neighbors with respect, and everyone in the neighborhood respect him as well. Next we see Dan going home for their wedding anniversary, and got his wife some flowers. Then he asks his son and daughter, Kyle and Nina, to stay at home, and take care of their little brother Maxi, because he wants to go out with their mom tonight. Here you should know that Kyle is a serious gamer, and he famous by the name, Kill Boy, but his family has not heard this name yet, and they always oppose him to play video games. And Nina, because her boyfriend is far away in another city, he is always thinking of going to him, but her mother doesn't let her. Later that night, Dan takes Jessica to an amusement park, because they met each other there for the first time. Then they are having fun together. At one time, several boys take pictures of Dan and Jessica's lips touching moment. Here, Dan goes to them and asks the guy to delete that picture, but the guy plays tough and pours his drink on his head. Dan gets absolutely embarrassed and couldn't do anything, and because of this, he gets an indescribable rage later that night. The next day we see Jessica in a boxing club. Accidentally, she punches a woman named Gwen in the face, and then when she apologizes to her, she starts talking to her. And here Gwen gives Jessica her card and says she is in the business of sending people on trip, and if Jessica wants to go somewhere with her husband, she can help. At the same time, Dan took Maxi with him to a store to buy stuff. A man attacks Dan with a knife. But Dan, even though Max is in his arms, with his extraordinary skills, he takes care of the attacker properly. After this incident, Dan drives home faster than usual, and the way he parks his car, his neighbor's Joes are dropping. Later, Dan opens a secret box and takes out a lot of money and stuffs, then he calls one of his former colleagues and asks him to make some fake passport for him and his family, because his identity was exposed because of the photo that guy took in the amusement park. And now now the people of a man named Mac are looking for him to kill him, because Dan used to be a government assassin. Next, Dan goes to look for his daughter Nina at her school, and when he finds his son at a friend's house, he understands that he is continuing to be a gamer in the parking lot. After that, Dan goes to look for his wife Jessica and informs her that they all are going to Las Vegas together, so that they can have a good time there. But while they are coming back home, Dan realizes that Mac's people are following them, and that's why he dips out from there, without his family knowing. Here, Dan speculates that they probably put a tracker in his car, and goes to the repair shop at his workplace. He mounts his car on a jack while his family is inside, as if he wants to check his car before starting their journey, but then finds the tracker and manages to put it on a fancy car in the exhibition so that those thugs will lose them. Next, Dan checks all the children's mobile phones and throws them all together in the river under the excuse of having fun on their journey without being caught in screens. On the other side we see the man, Mac, who is in Dan's house with his people and are looking for a clue on the internet. A girl recognizes as Kyle, as he is a professional gaming contestant creator, and takes a picture with her. Dan realizing this, he questions his son and is not happy about it. Then he lies to his family that there is no room in this hotel, and they have to go. Later, in the middle of the road while everyone, except for Dan and his little son Maxie sleeping, and each one wearing headphones that is connected to the car's multimedia, and Dan plays a soft music for them, because he notices that Max people are coming with motorbikes for them. The next morning they stop somewhere to rest, or Nina's boyfriend is somewhere around that places, and she wants go to his university to see her boyfriend Trevor. But even though her mother is disagree on this, Nina does this but it doesn't turn to be very delightful for her, because she catches Trevor cheating on her with another girl. She returns to her family heartbroken, and her father teaches her a martial technique to use it on Trevor. She goes back and happily comes back to her family this time. Anyway, Dan and his family in their long journey from East to West America, they continue on their way until close to Vegas. Dan is getting prepared, so that he can tell the truth to his wife Jessica. But they get to Vegas, and Dan still hasn't found the courage to tell the truth to his wife. Next, they go to stay in a luxury hotel, and then Dan goes to the lobby of the hotel to get their fake passports from his friend, so that he can take his family to Canada. Then Dan takes out a gun and asks the children to stay in the hotel, then goes to a luxury restaurant with his wife. But the children don't stay, and they go to a gaming club. At the same time, we see Dan calling the hotel room and no one answers. He immediately returns there with Jessica. When Jessica is checking the children's room, she thinks they are sleeping, then they decide to set the mood into a romantic action. At this moment, some people attack their hotel. Dan manages to get into some of them, until one of them takes Jessica hostage. Dan puts his gun down and takes a knife out of his sock, and destroys the guy. After this incident, they realize that their children are not in their rooms. The two go out and find them, and that's when Dan tells his kids he used to be a killer, working for government, and the kids make fun of him, but at the same time, some more people attack them, and Dan puts on a show with his skills and slaughter them all, 
and proves to his kids that he is that bum. That night, Dan tells his family that he has staged his own death so that he can start a new life with them. But no matter how sincerely he tries to justify his past, his family can't help him, and they leave after he gives the children fake passports because their father lied to them for 18 years. The next morning, Jessica picks up her children and takes them somewhere away. Before that, she asked her friend Gwen to help them, and she is there for them with a private jet. Here, Gwen tells Jessica that she once fell in love with a man, but he refused and went with another woman. But, years later, she made a decent plan and made that woman and her children walk in her trap by their own will. Yeah, finally, Jessica realizes that she has done her toilet and there is no paper towel or water, because Gwen is working for Mac, and Gwen was in love with Dan in the past. Later, Mac informs Dan, who took his wife and children, and asks Dan to meet him in an old casino. We see that Mac people are checking him with a drone, then someone takes Dan to his wife and children. Once there, Mac tells Dan's wife and child that he is Dan's father and I want him back into the family business, and wants Dan to do some missions for him, and he should not see his family during this time either. And Dan agrees to these this term only if they keep his family out this. So Mac orders his men to take Dan's family to the airport to return to their home. But Nina always asks her mother to do something, because she is worried about her father. And Kyle asks her the same. At this moment, Jessica has an idea. She uses Maxie's diaper on the guy's face and throws him down from the building, then they all go back to Dan. And we see that they manage to get Gwen as well. There, Kyle flies the drone, and he spots Mac and his people are coming for them. Because of this, Dan asks his family to go on top of the building. So that have space to manages those people with the help of Kyle's drone of course. Anyway, while Dan fights with those people by the guidance of Kyle, Gwen comes to his wife and child, and they fight her until Jessica plunges a stick in her body and kills her. On the other hand, Dan gets into a fight with his father and knocks him out. While the police came at scene Dan dips out of the building with his family. Sometimes later, we see the end of the story, where Dan is living happily with his family. And this time he takes them all to California with a minivan.